from the live music capital of the world, the Austin Music Network is proud to present the first annual Armadillo Homecoming Concert, taped live on Auditorium Shores on Sunday, September 4th, 1994, with Armadillo greats like New Riders of the Purple Sage, Tracy Nelson, Maria Muldaur, Marsha Ball, Omar and the Howlers, Commander Cody, and many more. Too much fun. Too much fun. Okay, we are getting close up here. How is everyone? Boy, that was pretty anemic. What, is it too hot for you? Come on, how is everybody? All right, it's not hot. It's wonderful out there, and I want to see you. We got to have a lot more dancing for Beto and the Fairlanes coming up, okay? A lot more dancing. We got some dancers? Yeah. You wait. You get those dancing feet when you hear Beto. About 20 years ago, Robert Skiles came to me when the Armadillo was happening, and they were he was doing some shows down there. He wanted to put together a salsa band. He wanted to do a live stage co show called El Perdido, and I was going to play El Perdido in this show, which I'm not sure was too good of an idea, but <laughs> I was going to be the lost one. One thing led to another, and dude wrote all the music, and... Uh, we never did the show, and something a lot better than that show happened. I think they were called Beto y Los Fairlanes. So that was the way of the armadillo. Better things happen than you ever intended. <laughs> hey, how about it? Let's hear it for a free concert, Armadillo Reunion. Thank you, Eddie Wilson. I just got one question. What took you so long? <laughs> think we ought to do this again next year? Good idea. Okay, those were warm-up responses. Let's make a lot of noise. Let's hear it for them. That's right. Those recording artists and Austin favorites for as long as we can remember. Let's go, Elo Sperley! Good morning. We are Beto and the Fairlanes. We got started in 1977.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Beto and the Fairlines. Beto, Ilos, and the Fairlines. We're going to do a piece that features our drummer right now. We want you to play along with us. With us. Beat on the earth itself. And feel the rhythm of the cosmos come through the swing song called Sing, Sing, Sing. Trainer on drums, Mambo John, one of the original members of the Fairlanes. Thank you.
Down trainer on washboard. Thank you. Bethel on the Fair Lanes in its 19th year of existence here in Austin, Texas. Only in Austin could we produce something like this from the armadillo, the egg of the armadillo. Our original member on uh, bass, Steve Zirkel. Another original member on congas, Arturo Garza. On drums, John Trainer. And on uh, trombone, Mike Mordecai. Another original, John Mills on uh, tenor saxophone, and also Bob Meyer on alto. And Bernie Nero on trumpet. I am Beto, Robert Skiles, look for us. Una mas, una salsa, let's get down, vamos a get down. <laughs> Back on the fair lanes, and we're going to make room for more music now. Back on the fair lanes. We'll be on the 16th. On the 16th of this month, we'll be at Schultz's Garden. See you there. Hey, it's Armadillo Sunday. We're coming to you from Auditorium Shores, and looking behind us, you see a whole bunch of buildings that weren't here when the Armadillo was. 
All that stuff came in later, didn't it? Uh, maybe the hotel. Mambo John Trainer, you were there for the whole 10 years of the Dilla. The whole 10 years from 70 through 80. Yeah. All whole time. Good time. And a good time, and I survived it, and, uh, you know, and a matter of fact, it made me stronger, I think. Uh, Here to do double duty. Uh, you all already played percussion with Beto in the Fairlands. Beto in the Fairlands. I'll probably play some washboard with Marsha Ball here in a little while, and so I'm having a real good time. Man. What were some of your favorite things to do at the Armadillo? Well, in the summer of 71, myself and a bunch of my friends from Seguin all came up here, and we put on the Tommy Opera with lights and actors and a band and the whole thing. We lived in there for a couple of weeks. Really? And it was great. They had a bakery back there. That was the first time I'd smell organic homemade bread, and the girls working in there gave us bread and You honey. didn't get that down at Seguin? And, uh, no, it was Wonder Bread down there. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so that was cool, and I remember playing uh, there with 47 times its own way. We used to warm up for Electromagnets, which was Eric Johnson, and those were amazing nights. We had thousands of people in there, and the music was just unbelievable. Uh, you know, I kind of, you know, got my, cut my chops in that place. You know? Yeah. And uh, seeing all these people around here and everything, it just feels great. Isn't it great? Now, another thing you did down there is you, you, you led to everybody in uh, the limbo. The limbo, yeah. I, I think I first did flaming limbo in there. Flaming limbo? Yeah, I had a stick with a, all wrapped up with cloth, and I poured barbecue juice on there and fired it up and went under there and, you know, put, you know went nuts. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> took a picture, I'm sure. That's right. There must be a picture somewhere, and if you have it at your house, you send it on down here to Austin. Mamba John Trainer, good to see you. Well, thank you so much, sir. I'm honored to be here and to be jamming and yeah. still strong and doing it. Just Look like forward to you playing with Marsha Ball. I'm the same guy. I was, <laughs> I'm not any different than I was. <laughs> You're probably the only person here still the same weight. Well, I'll tell you what. I picked that winning that winning Austin lifestyle. You know, swim a mile at Barton Springs, ride your bike, and play music like you mean it. All and right. you'll last a long time if you do that, man. Good deal. All right. Thank you, John. Well, thank you so much, sir.